Welcome everybody to the Robster Show. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Rob Stern Show. We got Matt Koff, hilarious comedian, Woo. another hilarious comedian, Nate Fernald. They're both also writers. Uh, James Corden Show, and then, of course, The Daily Show. Yeah. And uh, uh, other credits, of course. Um, how you guys doing? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Other than, it's, other than it's very hot outside. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Yeah. Let me ask you, what's... Uh, um, Tear gas makes people cry and laughing gas makes people giggle. What other uh, kinds of gases do you wish existed, Nate? Oh, wow. Um, let's see. I would like a, a like enthusiasm gas. Mm. Like, like, like one that, so I'm, I'm a fairly kind of not monotone person, but like my emotions are pretty low. And a lot of times people will think that like I'm uninterested or, or angry. Yeah. Uh, but that's not the case. I'm just like, like I'm genuinely at, at like an 11 right now. And this is just my, this is how, like how I am. So I would love a gas that makes me like, like like pep it up a little bit more right pep gas like yeah like a d- demonstrative gas like you have the emotions yes is it the emotions are low the no the, the emotions it, the are there but the expressions not no there. i i un- yeah i get it this gets me into relationship s- scrapes all the time it's yeah like, oh, you, you both you both have that a little bit right? yeah. Yeah, you, yeah you clearly don't care yeah yeah i do i'm just Ah, that's a shame. Yeah. I, I get a lot of like, why do you never smile in photos? And it's like, yeah. I genuinely right, don't so know this how. Is, this yeah, is a great, no, I've, I really want to see this. What we're going to do right now is we're going to have a scene where both of you attempt to be as expressive as possible okay. with okay. each other. Um, let's give you, okay. yeah. Let's give let's give you something really boring to talk about, mm-hmm. and we'll try and make it as expressive as possible. My so doctor's gonna be like, "How did you get those hemorrhoids?" Like, I went too big on a podcast. <laughs> He's like, ah, the Rob Strom show. <laughs> pushed pushed myself too hard. Seen it a million times. Okay, you guys are seated at lunch, and you can see each other's lunch. But oh, dude, you, we yeah. we just did this. Oh, great! So we're gonna yeah. do this. Oh, we're wow. gonna attempt to do we it were at, seated the, at the most at expressive version that we can do it at. As I'm just gonna be the waiter. Okay. Uh, can I get you, gentlemen? Anything else? I'll That's kill that. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get him. Get his ankles. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hey, hey. Fuck him up. Oh, you ever eat a fucking ketchup bottle before, oh, motherfucker? Oh, ah! Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, my God. Ah! It's funny that anger is the first thing that came out. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't any, it wasn't like I happiness. mean, that's it. I don't know how you can get more expressive than that. Yeah. You murdered a man <laughs> within By five seconds. A ketchup bottle yeah, in. that was crazy. He was yeah. just trying to do his job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it, he, he did. He did nothing <laughs> wrong. <laughs> But he was Nothing just in the wrong at place all. at the wrong time, you know? He's wrong time. We were demonstrative. Yeah, we've so. been we've been suppressing our emotions our yeah. entire lives and <laughs> yeah. he just happened to walk by when we were It was really about my parents yeah. and you know, like neglect, but he was just yeah. That that's how it happens, right? I mean, when you do finally lose it, it's always on the wrong person. Of course. It's always, always on, on the always on the way. Like, yeah, yeah, it's always on somebody who just didn't deserve it. I used to work in customer service. Oh yeah. It was me a lot. It was like, oh, today they decided to. Whenever, just, um, oh yeah, I mean that's the number one. Whenever yeah. I call a customer service rep, like sometimes you know, you, sometimes you can get pretty angry on those calls when you know you've been wronged yeah. by the company, and of course, you know, some of the customer service reps like aren't even allowed to help you if they wanted to. No, like, they n- they're to, never allowed. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. not my job. And then there's yeah. sometimes where I end up yelling, being being like, "I'm not mad at you. <laughs> yeah. I need you to. Know I think you're doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's not you that I'm yelling at right now, and I." Keep assuring them that like they're like they're they're not my the cause of my anger. <laughs> it's like, yeah. but you work for a bad company. Yeah, it's a and, it's it's a rough it's a rough gig. Yeah. I don't know how people can last. La- I lasted for like five years in it, and it was really, oh, wow. It was a rough time. It's a long. Yeah, definitely wouldn't go back. I was I was a, a proofreader for four years, and they 
offered me a promotion to customer service. And I'm like, no, yeah, I just want to be not, in my hole. Yeah, being in a hole is hole. great. What were that's you proofreading that you could like uh, serve customers instead? Oh, it was well, it was like a translation Applebee's company. Or, okay. Yeah, and it was like it was a very bad translation company, and apparently, like a guy who was on my improv team at the time, his mother got something translated there. She had to go back four times because they couldn't get it right. Oh wow! So I'm like, okay. why would I want to be? This sounds like another fun scene. So me and Nate, <laughs> me and Nate are going to be in the audience. We came to see uh, a reading. Uh, from the new book of one of our favorite authors, uh-huh. um, but he's not German. I mean, he's German, but so it's, English is not his first language, and so uh-huh. it's been translated for him. But he's still going to try and read it. Okay. And Nate, I cannot wait to see this uh, Gustav read his new book. This oh. is so exciting. He's he's incredible. I can I, I I've read all of his previous books that have that it were expertly translated. Can't wait to see how this new one. Agreed came out oh he's about to talk (laughs) greetings (laughs) welcome (laughs) welcome to my new reading of my new book translated flawlessly (laughs) let me just take a moment to tell you (laughs) how much money I paid out of my own pocket to get this book translated. I sold my daughter. Oh my God. I sold oh. my daughter. He could have just like pasted a, into yeah. a Google. <laughs> I sold my daughter to raise the funds. He's talking a lot about the translation. Yeah. To pay for this flawless I've, translation. I've, I've seen him talk about all his books, which all of which were translated, and he never focused so hard on the Oh, it's going to be a good translation. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. It's but be- it's going to be so... It's like a good movie score. It's so good you won't even notice it. It's interesting because he actually sounds like he speaks, he speaks pretty really good, good English. English. So I'm surprised he, he needed someone else to translate because yeah. so this, far... These words <laughs> he have been translated. I'm reading them phonetically. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. So he doesn't actually speak. He's just. Well, I hope. I hope that's that I, correct. I, <laughs> you know what? That makes sense. The translator probably wrote those words. Yeah. That's why he's talking so much. The translator that. did write these words. <laughs> oh. The same. Tra- I wonder if it's the transla- same translator translated the book because this is really good English he's speaking yeah, right yeah. now. So if it's the same translator, the I think the translator book, the has assistance or maybe not quite as good as the. Main translator. Anyway, let's get started. And scene. Okay. (laughs) Oh, I thought thought you were going to start reading the book and that that you were an author who before you read um, your your book, you say and scene. Um, That's the title. Do you guys want to, Nate, will you grab that bag right there and hold it up for the camera and maybe read what's on the front of it? Okay. Here's a bag. On the front of it says, Bag O Sound. That's the bag of sound. Reach in there, grab any uh, sound you want. Bag of sound. Before yeah. um, before Phil Spector developed the wall of sound, he it experimented bag, with, with the bag of sound. sound. Oh, yeah. Not as and good. it just was didn't yeah. cover enough surface, so he yeah. had a wall of yeah, sound. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I pulled out oh two things. Great. I oh, have, you got one of my favorite ones. Ooh, which one? Uh, office jargon. Off. Oh, wow, that's good. Do I give the other one to Matt? No, Matt can grab his own. Oh, okay. And, and then, oh, and I get two? I, yeah. So this one, this one is called yes, 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 yes. Corporate Jargon, and one of the images is a is a, a, a bomb. Okay, what? let's hear it. We have to be disruptive. Oh, I see. <laughs> I thought it was like like, yeah. like fed-up employee who was going to... That would be have crazy. Have like a bomb strapped to his chest. No, it sounds like it's, it's somebody like disruptive. dropping a bomb in the meeting. Like, okay. I know you guys... Weren't ready for this, but yeah. it's time to get nuts. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> okay. Thought you guys should know. Well, hey, you know what? We have to be disruptive. Sure. So, so why don't you pitch us your business idea, Matt? This can't be anything entertainment related. This I'm, way, I'm pitching an idea? Yeah, you have to come in. You have to pitch us like a real business idea maybe you've had or just like a fun business idea you've had. Okay. Oftentimes people have a real business idea that they're just like, why has nobody done this yet? Right. You okay. Know? Yeah. You did everything you could to get in the door, and now you're meeting with the CEO, Nate Fernald. Oh, I'm the CEO. Yeah. Oh, I was focusing on you. You're, oh, no, you're no. no one. No, I'm like a note taker. You definitely don't need to care. 
Uh, I mean, I guess uh, I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to win over the note taker. No, not at all. Because I'm, I'm you a, have sway. You know, you're around. I have a little, have a little bit. Yeah, but definitely he hired you. And yeah, I have like a little sway, but yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It don't, actually, don't might be me. smarter to kind of play to you indirectly to to mess with the CEO's ego. Right. I, I kind of a neg. Okay. Anyway, uh, my business. <laughs> Here's my... Okay, guys. I got something that's going to change the way you see printers. Okay, first of all, I do... I make restaurants. <laughs> I'm in the food industry. Exactly. So so you're not even thinking about printers. No. Therein lies the problem. Okay. I'm listening. You, you say you make restaurants? Or you... Yeah, like, like we, we come up with an idea for like like a fun restaurant and then we put them up all over the country uh what's a fun restaurant you made i don't know it's like like sam maybe like um you know how about a place called kicking chicken and it's uh spicy chicken wait is this something you've done or Uh, are you pitching me a restaurant i'm coming up with one on the fly right now (laughs) we have several out already he's very smart we have bumping burgers we've got um uh, uh, yeah. We've got Cool Cream. This is just like an ice cream place. It's very so this popular. is just like cool names for regular and yeah, restaurants. And it will, did you? Did you? I'm I'm sorry. I know I'm just a note taker. Did you do any research before you came to pitch? Well, this? I have a I have a manager who's like they're gonna love your idea. Oh, they didn't and now know I'm that. The C, I'm talking to the CEO of Bumpin Burgers. <laughs> well, actually, we're we're it's we're called Food Group, and like that Bumpin Burgers is a company within Food Group. I came up with the name Food Group. Isn't that good? That is. That's good. That's even better than uh, Bumpin' Burgers because you kind of know what Food Group is, but now, Bumpin' bef- Burgers could be anything. Before you keep going with this printer thing, let's talk more about this kick and chicken idea of yours. Cause that was your that was, idea. That was my idea? Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk more about kick and chicken. All right. Are we thinking, is it like, is it spicy chicken? <laughs> is it just chicken legs maybe we put like little shoes on the legs like uh, kicking like and that's the kind of fun thing you do uh-huh. like you hand it to someone you, you kind of hold the shoe and you hand them the chicken leg oh so it'd be shoe. like on a swing so it, like is there a literal kicking motion could, involved? Be, could do that could do that are yeah. you handing the chicken leg to me with a little boot on it that i get to keep you get to keep the boot okay for an extra that's fun for an extra two dollars oh my god I mean, I'll buy this. Yeah, this is. I mean, that this is pretty good. This is kicking chicken, buddy. You're hired. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. I guess we don't really have to talk about printers anymore. I didn't. You know, I, honestly, I wasn't even really invested in my printer idea. Honestly, I actually thought of it two minutes before. Oh, it's not a real idea. I don't even. What? know what It's not a real are. idea you've had. Uh. No. Okay. Well, it actually is. Okay. Can I actually Can I, just? I know we're yeah. on this. Yeah, yeah. No, you do whatever. Chicken thing. Yeah, wanna, yeah let's I, hear about this printer. Keep sorry, going. I completely hijacked your. Um, no, no. Your bit. <laughs> is that? No, no. I was. I'm. I'm really happy about kicking chicken. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I. I think kicking chicken is great. I also think that kicking chicken could just be like a relaxed chicken. Like, what am I going to do today? I'm kicking it. Oh, so I'm a kick and chicken. That would be a, one like of our, a very relaxed our, chicken. Our slogan would be chick back and relax. <laughs> chick back and relax. <laughs> yeah. I like that. And um, what's your printer idea? It's, uh, oh, good. My music is starting. <laughs> <laughs> I requested this piece of music uh, specifically. Picture a printer mm-hmm. uh-huh. with no problems. Okay, okay man, I, a printer that works. I just want to say a new a printer for a new day. This is, I I almost took out my phone to write this down so I could prove it to you before you kept going. But when when Rob first set up the game, uh-huh. and I had to like think, uh, I thought that I was gonna have to think of an invention, but then yeah. you got called, and then the thing I came up with, I was gonna say a printer that works. Yeah, is what I was gonna a say. Printer that works. I don't know why we so would what, both have that well, idea. I don't know. Is it like mine? Think. I'll, Think is it like minds? Like minds do think alike. Like minds, like minds think alike. I think it's been scientifically proven. Is it is it that or are we fucking hacks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, oh, the old the old working printer idea. Yeah, okay, that was in my 
<laughs> that was in my SNL packet six years ago. Yeah. My dad bought a laser printer in 1995, mm-hmm. and he is still printing on it to this day. That same printer? Same printer. That's what they sell them as. They always say, get the laser printer, it lasts forever. Yeah. And I just did the initial cost is so much. Yeah. But I've definitely spent more than enough on non... 1995. Yeah, that's incredible. Like, wow. Running wow. like a beast still. Yeah. Like, it's... It, wow. it takes a long time to boot up, but it's but it works. It's, it runs on time. gasoline. Yeah. Hey, I have an idea. <laughs> Bootin' chicken. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, spa time. Come to the spa where we ta. It's... It's unfinished. I think I, I, think I, I meant to delete that one. Is this a printer one. issue? No, I meant to delete that <laughs> I one. I knew it. And I uh, didn't. I'm going to be you rich. You chose the one wrong. Don't choose that one. It was the last. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me see. So um, this, I, this podcast is kind of new, but it really isn't. I recorded a bunch of episodes of, of stuff years ago. Like, I just was recording a show. I'd go around, like, interview random people. Um, and when I did actually, it start? Say again? When did it start? I've been doing it since, like, the 90s. I would, like, just interview people. Yeah. Wow. Um, I mean, we never, you never told me this. No, no. I, I mean, I didn't really. For a long time. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really, you know. What, what were you recording on in the 90s? Uh, I had, like, a, you know, just a tape recorder. Talk boy. Yeah, like, it was talk boy yeah. or something. Do you um, still have those tapes? Uh, yeah. I want to hear those tapes. Well, what, we're going to hear one right now. What so, movie was Talk Boy in? I feel like that was Alone a... 2. Okay, right. Um, so I actually Which was... we cannot watch until they edit Donald Trump out of it. Yeah, right. So I actually, I actually, when I was like a... When I was... Uh, I, I was actually... Um, uh, at the remember when Joey Buttafuoco's wife was shot? Guy was hanging out of the hospital and she was brought in and he was there. Mr. Buttafuoco. Mr. Buttafuoco. Hey. 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 Hello. How you doing? Wait. Wait. Your name's also Buttafuoco. Wait. You yeah. both Joey Buttafuoco? Holy shit! Whoa. <laughs> I must be you from the future. Oh, my God. But I'm... Wait, wait, wait You can't be because I'm 12 years old. Wait, no. What? Hold on. <laughs> wait, how does time work again? If you're from the future... I'm Joey Buttafuoco. I'm not mean... supposed to know how time works. Okay. You should know that if you're me. But maybe you haven't learned that. Mm-hmm. Maybe you have to... Turn thirteen and learn it at your Italian bar mitzvah. Anyway, so this is so okay. that was so this is the intro to the part. So what actually happened is I was like, this is incredible. So apparently, the younger Butterfuko can time travel, which is insane. I heard that about because so <laughs> I, yeah, we all I remember we all kind of heard something about that. Yeah, you know. But I was like, you know, hey, this sounds like a fun idea. Um, if you guys would, uh, um, if you guys would take my recorder and travel through time, so this is this is a recording of Joey Butafu- the two two Butterfucos mm-hmm. in, uh, in traveling uh, through time, and I, I guess I haven't really wow. listened to a while. I think they went to the Jurassic period. Wow! So I don't know. You guys could take a listen. Is that a fucking dinosaur? Hey, 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 Joey, that's not me. Yeah, little Joey. I can't quite remember. Has Jurassic Park come out yet? Do we, no, do we no, know it? this is... Can we make a Jurassic Park reference right now, or, or do we not know what that is well, yet? This is, I mean, it's the Jurassic period. Okay. But, but the film Jurassic Park has fi- not come out yet. There is no film in the Jurassic okay. El- period. All right, all right. So no references. Great. I don't care whether you know it or don't. No references. And certainly Got when it. I was 12 years old, you, I would not have known about Jurassic Park. Probably not. I'm a semi-old man in the 90s. But then again. So when I was a child. Then again, I'm 12 years old and have apparently come to the future from the, into the 90s. That is true, little so me. it's possible. That is true. It's possible I've gone ahead Two more years and yeah. seen Jurassic Park. <laughs> Into the butt of future and seen Jurassic Park. By the way, there's been something chewing on my leg for this entire hey, conversation. Hey, sorry about that. I'm the little Dilophosaurus. here. It's trying to get the leaf around your legs. I like the cut of this Dilophosaurus's jib. How come this, this Dilophosaurus 
both sounds and looks a lot like me. Uh, and oh me. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. You I know, I never we... met my father, but I heard tell of a ape-like creature that slept with uh, my mom, who happened to be a Dilophosaurus. Oh, uh, and that Dilophosaurus shot your mother. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what the, I didn't even do that. that oh man, great. there's about to be a, a Butterfuko three way. <laughs> that <was> <laughs> uh, so that's a historical episode from the podcast. Wow, I can't yeah. believe that's incredible. You never told me about. This. You know, I just uh, this there's a lot be, of stuff. I guess we just haven't talked about. Seems like you know? it would be a huge event in your life. It, yeah. You know, it was, and I guess I just... Um, also, you have the only actual recording of a real dinosaur. And yeah. Yeah. I, I guess I, should, I guess should. I should do more with it than just use it for my Give podcast. that to like a museum or something. I, I mean, it. a podcast museum, of course. Yeah, yeah of right. course. Yeah, I got to support. A, yeah. That's one in D.C. that's really good. The MOPA? <laughs> the MOPA. <laughs> have you guys been to MOPA? The, museum the MOPA design, design store? store. Okay. Yeah. Or we can do more. We can always do more of one segment too. You're not locked in. I'm gonna pick real estate. Okay. So, um, which one of you wants to be a real estate agent? I'll do. I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be okay. And Matt, you're gonna choose an animal. A little frog. Okay. Great. A little frog. Great. That's, wonderful. That's called a frig. A frig. <laughs> Sorry. So we're cancel gonna... culture. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't get me started. There was this. I, I look. I need to be. I need to come clean. I did not riff that frog joke. No. No. One time there was a story. Yes. There was a monologue story at work about a frog that was like the size of like a fingernail that they had found. Mm-hmm. And the joke I pitched was, "That ain't a frog. That's a frig." And oh, okay. They didn't want it. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't care for it. <laughs> I guess that's fine. You yeah. know. Now it's mine to use on podcasts. I mean, that, it's great, but I and it worked it was, here. I like. I enjoyed it. I feel like it crushed in the room. <laughs> Definitely. But no, here at was, the Rob Stern Show, we will take any failed uh, pitches or stuff. I mean, if the TV shows, yeah, or anybody wants to pass along material to us, we're happy to use it. So right. I appreciate you sharing that with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. So we're gonna. This is a, uh, a real estate TV show. Mm-hmm. We're following you around. You are showing this frog a place. You're hoping he'll buy it. Okay. I'm the frog. You're the frog. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So welcome back to Nate's properties. Now, I'm sure we can figure out some way for you to be able to open the front door. Looking at you right now, um, it's like the people who currently live here have not necessarily designed the house for a small frog, but I bet you could do some renovations so that, you know, you as a small frog can do things like, I don't know, enter the home. I'm just a little baby frog. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I think you're going to love this house. It's a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. Now, as a frog, let, let me guess. You like water? I guess. You like splashing around? Sure. You I- like getting absolutely fucking soaked? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm a frog. <laughs> okay, well, that's cool because this that place has two-and-a-half bathrooms, one has a tub sla- with a shower in the tub. One has just a shower. And one has a... Uh, the, uh, and they all have toilets. And they all have sinks. Buddy, that's a lot of wet. <laughs> that's, a, that's a shitload of wet. I don't know if I can handle all that wet. Well, have you, you know, seen how small I am? You don't have to have all of it. Look, you can have your frog buddies over and you and all your I don't frog have buddies, any buddies. You can well once you once you have this house, every frog in town is gonna wanna come over here and get fucking soaked. Really? Absolutely dripping. But in I have a sinks. horrible personality. <laughs> oh. I always play the victim. Let me tell you this. Look, I'm not a frog. I don't know what it's like to be a frog. It's not I, fun. I know that if I was a frog. 
And there was a frog that I didn't like personally, but knew that if I pretended to be friends with this frog, I'd have the opportunity to get absolutely splashed with H2O. Oh, buddy, I'm hanging out with that frog. Oh, wow. That gives me a feeling of hope that I haven't had for a very long time. By the way, what's your credit score? <laughs> what's that? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> frog can't buy a house. Nobody likes me. <laughs> Nobody likes me. <laughs> what? What's the point of continuing to live? Oh my god! Oh wait, now we're following the frog. He's going back to oh. his little sad. I don't place. have anywhere to go. Oh, I don't have a home. He's right going to it. a bridge. Yeah, what's what? he doing? What's happening? This one isn't tall enough. Let me find another one. Oh, he's at a bridge. He's... This one will do. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh my god, look at that frog. No, no, don't jump. Um, 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 shit, hold on, hold on, oh. hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so wet. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I love that you, only at the last moment, were like, frog, frog can't buy a house. Therein lies the problem. <laughs> Hold on, let's rewind. Uh, oh, big oh logical God. issue. Um, do you my, guys want to take guy a should br- have ended up on that bridge, too. I do you, do you want to take a break from improvising? We can do, like, a, a non-improv thing for a bit. I'm, sure. up, I'm up for whatever. What, you're up for whatever? I mean, because I'm happy to keep doing this uh i thought because you both worked in late night we could do a uh a quiz All right. about late night yeah i don't know we could try right. that let's do it let's okay do it. Cool. i love games i love funny business love it um so let's just try i mean these are real questions uh, i've got a hard on for goofing around <laughs> <laughs> it's my little expression uh, As they right. say. Uh, probably the most recognizable name in the history of late night television. The comedian hosted The Tonight Show for 30 years. Who is the icon of late night television? That's uh, Stan B, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Here's Carson, Sammy. Johnny Carson. Yeah, it's Carson. It's Carson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, this late night host was the successful replacement for Johnny Carson. Craig Kilborn. It's close. Craig Ferguson. Uh, oh, Jay Leno. <laughs> it's Jay Leno. Yeah, Jay Leno. Um, there was another host of the Tonight Show that preceded John. Oh, it's just asking who was the host of the this Tonight is Show. All about the Tonight this Show. Is the worst quiz ever. Um, uh, it, oh, did you get this, this member from of the Insider? Of the, uh, I got or it from fast company. Fun, fun trivia something. <laughs> All right. I was hoping uh, it was going to be a what of, late night host are you quiz. This oh, me- yeah. This member I of, know that. of the Rat Pack tried his hand at late night television, but wasn't very successful. Oh, Splinter. Dean Martin. Splinter. Oh. oh. Was it Dean Martin? Let's try it. So I said this Splinter. <laughs> Master Splinter. <laughs> He's really his own Rat Pack, yeah. if you think about it. No, it, like, makes me, it doesn't show me all the answers until, like, I... Oh. Okay, wait. Can we, do the bit, the oh. bi- can we do the business idea bit again? A backpack, yeah. a backpack yeah, yeah, yeah. that's in the shape of a rat, and it's called a Rat Pack. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I mean, hell yeah. Like you and get, there are cigarettes in it, so you could feel like you're oh, yeah. one of the rat. If you, you squeeze it, a no. A couple of these in Spencer's Gifts, for sure. Of course. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Which uh, late night host are you? I'll go. I'm Chevy Chase. Okay. I'm tall, and I don't currently have a late night show. I want to be Conan O'Brien. Yeah, but every, let's yeah. Face it, I'm Jimmy <laughs> Fallon. Oh God. <laughs> I think you're. I think you'd be more Conan. Oh, thank you. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Right. Nothing against uh, Fallon. Just uh, clearly. Uh, I mean, he's never going to listen to this, so what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I don't know. I, saw, I saw you get it worried immediately. <laughs> Rob, like, the man, the the man loves games. The man loves games. He does love games. He's got a he new one coming games. out. Yeah. Got he a does? New game show, yeah. You're going to lead uh, Nate into telling his joke. I set it up, you yeah. knock him down. Yeah. Wow, Nate, that was some primo stuff. 
uh, up there in the stand-up stage. Thank you. <laughs> I, I gave him a compliment. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, Nate. Yeah. You know, I've heard tell that you have. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Wow. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Me and the audience, we have a, a thing, a rapport. Yeah, you're a guest. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> they, they, love, they love me. Anyway, I, I heard you have a sailboat that you're renting. Oh, yeah, I do, actually. And you got into a bit of a scrape. <laughs> yeah, all right. This is a... <laughs> Funny you bring that up. I do have a cell, but I'm renting because um, here's the thing. There's this vaccine hoax going on right now. And uh, apparently, apparently the, the government is trying to exert control over people by making them get this vaccine for a fake disease that's not even real. So, um, so I got a sailboat so that, like, if I'm in the water, I'm technically not on land. So you, I don't have to follow your laws, your oppressive laws. You're going to be at the Funny Bone in uh, <laughs> San Francisco this weekend, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be recording an episode of my podcast there. All right. Now check him out. <laughs> Nate Fernald. <laughs> it is a funny name. It is a funny name. Oh, man. That was really fun. How do you choose the best quality beach towel? Well, obviously... When you go to the beach, mm-hmm. you need you need two towels. You need the towel to lie on. Yeah. And that's more of like a flat towel. Yeah. But then you need the towel to dry yourself with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you want comfort for the base towel, mm-hmm. and you want absorbency for the uh, other towel. That's like re- that's good reasonable advice. Nate, you, do you have anything to add? Yeah, to when me? you go to the store to buy your towel, uh-huh. you sneak a little cup of water in with you. Okay. Dip a corner. Okay. And see what one sucks it up the best. Um you're saying you bring it you dip you get the towel wet in the store. You go to the store, you dip the corner of the towel in the cup of water and be like is this I suck- don't I really don't hate that. Is this sucking that's up a the gray, water? That's, that's a great that's kind idea. of a and if it's <laughs> And if it's if it's absorbing the water, buddy, you found yourself a good towel. <laughs> yeah, actually, it works with dating too. If you, if you that. what does that? How does that work? You 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 meet a woman, you dip yeah. her in a little cup of water, and if she absorbs it, <laughs> you think you found the one. You found um, the one. All right, let's do a different beach question. Uh, it, what do you do if you're at a nude beach and you get a boner? Just write it out. I bet it happens all the time in nude beaches. It's got it, right? Like, I mean, look, the, the nude beaches are all about body acceptance. Yeah. And getting boners is part of having a body. Yeah. I, yeah, I, would, I would own it. I would just be like, all right, we're all thinking it. I got a boner. <laughs> all right? All right. Or, laugh, or, or laugh I just, it up, guys. Or I just get up. down and just shove it into the sand. Yeah. <laughs> and then be like, ooh, that actually feels pretty good. Uh, I mean, I love that. I love both of those options. I think I would definitely shove it fuck into the, the sand. sand. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. would fuck the sand and be like, "Yeah, I'm really." I, this is. Fuck. The I sand? mean, I wouldn't fuck. I mean, you. Uh, you would you give one your, stroke into right. the sand and then you're done. You're That's done. All you <laughs> <do>. <laughs> one done. It goes to <laughs> sand fucking. Um, like life. You I'd, I'd, Maddie, I'd like to see you last in the sand for more than one time. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a warm pump chump. Yeah, I, I really am. Sorry, guys. Look, look, look. I can, I can go. I, if, it's, if it's with a lady, I can last all night. But if it's in the sand, yeah. buddy, oh, it's yeah. over. Oh, Mother God. Beach. Oh man. Well, yes. man, the second, the second my tip feels sand, I am. <laughs> I'm done. I am, um, I'm empty. I touch a grain, I lose my brain. <laughs> okay, so you're each going to give each other a creature, an object, a any anything, a person, whatever you want, and it, you're going to be speaking to, the other person is going to be speaking to a whole room of those. You're talking to um, a uh, coal mining town. And, 
Listen up, virgins. <laughs> uh, <laughs> apparently, y'all are digging, digging up dirt. Well, let me tell you a story about my great grandfather. He one time w- was digging dirt, and he just kept finding dirt. But then he kept digging in the dirt, and he found four hundred dollars. Whoa! Yeah. Jesus. So I know you're going out there right now, and you're digging, and you're not finding any coal, and because there's no coal, uh, they're they're not paying you, and you're just working all day every day and receiving no money yeah is that do they work on commission the coal miners yep yeah is that yeah they get paid by the pound <laughs> they pay those guys by the pound it's, uh, <laughs> that's brutal that's yeah hard yeah work. no it's a tough biz tough biz it's very stressful <laughs> six, it's six stressful. cents a pound <laughs> what six yeah, cents. It's, yeah it's rough it's a rough job why, why would they even want to bring it back at that it's point really right? wow. that's why there's no coal mining in new york city you couldn't can survive with that. Yeah. All right. Look, guys. The, there's only so much coal underneath the ground. But if you keep digging, you'll get to freaking China. And they have coal under their ground. And you'll get their coal first. And you'll bring it back to us in America and sell that coal for six cents a pound. No more, no less. And we round down, by the way. <laughs> we do round down. And that might happen. And if it doesn't, what else are you going to do? The only other thing in this town is a Barnes and Noble. And they're all full up. So get out there. Get out there. And you know what? And if I, if I see you guys are doing a good job, I'm going to replace those wooden shovels with metal ones. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. That was great. Very motivated. Yeah! yeah. Boys, let's go <laughs> mine some coal. Um, so let's, uh, let, uh, Nate, why don't you give uh, Matt his uh, audience? Okay. Matt, you are speaking to. <laughs> You're speaking to uh, a room full of uh, costume designers, specifically uh, for babies. Okay. They make costumes Mm -hmm. for babies. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. Well, here we are. Oh, but the reason you're trying to motivate them... Um, a baby has not been born in 15 years. <laughs> uh, this is like children of men yeah, times? Yeah, There's okay. something, some chemical got into the water. There has not been a baby born in 15 years. All right. And their only skill is making costumes for babies. Right. Yeah. Well, here we are. I'm a motivational speaker, and you make costumes for babies. And the earth is in a dark time right now. The natural resources are dwindling. People ain't fucking. People ain't getting that dick wet. And guess what? What does that mean? No babies. And yet here you all are. And you're in the darkest night you've ever seen in your entire lives. You're making little pumpkin costumes. And they don't make pumpkin costumes for adults. They make those for babies. Yeah. Nobody true. wants to see an adult pumpkin. Yeah, we know that's why we make them for babies. Yeah. 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 Imagine a, a adult dresses a pumpkin. How disgusting. You'd be like, what? 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 You're... You're a grown it's really man. Up. It's in, really fucked up. Yeah. In a, I thought of it, and I, I'm really it really sad. Really upsets me. What? What is that? There it's is, just. 
there hasn't been a baby born in 15 years and then thinking of an adult in a pumpkin costume makes me so sad maybe even more sad than yeah. the fact that no babies have been born and now look now a lot of people might say well there's no babies <laughs> there's no babies coming because we don't have the resources for babies maybe you should diversify maybe you should make costumes for 15 year olds because the last baby was born 15 years ago so the youngest person is 15 you know what i say to that fuck you Ooh, all right I feel, wow i feel good i feel really yeah good. I kinda you're gonna to keep that. making baby costumes okay uh, you're gonna have a baby costume you're gonna make you're gonna have a baby costume that looks like a little hot dog where the baby puts it on and you just want to eat up that baby hot dog. Now you're wondering, what baby? That is a question not for us to ask. Okay? Okay. You know? I don't care if there's never going to be a baby born in uh, ever. We got the fabric. We got the tools. Mm -hmm. We got the baby costume making skills. We got to keep making... My wife left me. <laughs> My wife left me four years ago. Okay. This because... Turn. This... But no, it, there's still, a point to what I'm still, saying. I'm, yeah. I still feel good. I yeah. Still feel yeah. Good. My wife left motivating. me. She was cheating on me with a mailman. Wow. Mailman was my best friend. Okay. You know why? Because I love mail. I love opening it. I hear that. And, you know, he, he was one of those mailmen who loved his job. He was one of those mailmen who loved his job, yeah. but he loved my wife more. I can't wait to see how this comes back around the costume. Yeah, same. I guess I don't really have a point here. I guess I'm digressing, but the point is baby costumes, all right? Why is this guy naked? Yeah, where's this guy? He's not wearing any clothes. Is it a bit chilly in here? <laughs> I don't think he knows he's naked. <laughs> I, I'm just, my cardigan, it's kind of, I, I wore a light cardigan today, and, uh... Wait, the name of today's speaker is supposed to be Carol. This doesn't look like a Carol. My name is John, <laughs> and, uh, I want to... My point is here, is that my name is John, and I want you guys to make costumes for babies. Babies be damned! Later that night, they found out that John was actually a representative from an adult costume-making company, convincing the competition to continue making costumes for babies so that they wouldn't encroach on their adult costumes market. His plan worked. Ah, money! <laughs> ah, all this money from adult costumes. Oh, what am I going to do with it? Those poor... Saps. Ah, I miss my wife. Oh my god. I miss I miss her. I like that in like this <laughs> this future dystopia where you know there's not enough resources, people are dying and folks still making costumes. Making costumes, costumes. Still booming business. Yeah, and I love your whole point of your motivation was to just keep going. Keep doing you have to what keep we're going, doing whether it makes whether sense. it makes sense or not. It doesn't make yeah. sense. Things don't make sense. I feel like sense. we should have addressed the fact that the like company would even spend a budget on a motivational speaker. Like, given they that we're at zero well. income, I guess we're yeah. Maybe people were still buying the costumes, even if they- it's intimidating to pivot. You know. Yeah. And it's tr- and it makes you look like you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's accept- pivoting is in a way accepting failure. Right. So that's true. You guys, this has been the Rob Stern Show. Uh, where can people find you online? Um, you can find me uh, on, on Twitter at Nate Fernald. Uh, I'll, I, I'll, most anything that I would have to say, I'll put up there. Great. And Matt, where can people find you? Uh, Matt Koff. At Matt Koff. Instagram, Twitter. My takes are hot, Rob. They've They're actually, very hot. They've only been getting hotter, so I would advise people to not go on my social media. They call thing. Matt... L.A. weather. <laughs> yeah. He's that hot. You know why? Why? Hot. Hot. Takes. All Guys, right. this has been uh, my show. I want to thank you both for coming on to the, the Rob Stern well, show. show. And 
now we dance. Everybody dance.